what is it about better teams that seems to bring out the best in your team right now? Mm, I, I don't know. That's a tough question. Um, I think we, I don't know. It, it was, I think we're, we came home. Um, I think after the second period last night, or after the first period, we were we were kind of playing pretty well, I thought, and it was good for us to play this game right away. I think it was just I think we played five really strong periods in a row, and uh, uh, I think that part of it too is you, you've got these teams, the emphasis of you know, playing at home and in front of your crowd, and uh, I just. An emphasis, we've got to win these games, regardless of who, who we're playing. Uh, but I think it was it was just a good momentum carryover for last night. I thought the guys did well. The resiliency of this team is extremely impressive. <coughs> we haven't had back-to-back -back losses yet. What is it about this team that you know after they suffer a loss, they get right back up and swim together a couple of great wins? Well, I really like our group, and I've said this from day, <coughs> day one, and especially when we started last year, uh, we we've got a great bunch of guys in the room. And um, are we the perfect hockey team? Not even close. But are we a team that is uh, that doesn't quit and um, respond to challenges? We, they do, and they've got it in them. And uh, uh, it's funny because we're I don't know how many games in, 14 games into the year, and we've had just different sets of challenges. Whether We've shot ourselves in the foot, or the other teams played extremely well. Uh, whether we've taken penalties, or just a ton of things have happened to our team. And the guys, I guess, they don't complain about the problem. They just look for a solution to fix it, and that's kind of our mentality. And it's uh, been working so far. Are you going to ration out time with all the other forwards on that line and Stamkos and Sergeyev? <laughs> Uh, well, you got to give uh, Kalorn a lot of credit because he might have been the only guy on the ice tonight that was on for all four goals. And uh, again, he's got two world-class line mates, but I thought he more than held his own tonight. I thought he was outstanding. Stamp was mentioning how Bishop was really fired up for this game, facing the Blues team that drafted yeah. him, obviously. I mean, can you tell him that a little more for him or you know, just with his back turned? No question. Again, you, you sitting here. Game by game, we go who's who's going to play goal, and uh, it's really hard to to sit Bish out, especially when he's playing against his old organization. And and uh, he's from St. Louis. I don't know, was he drafted by St. Louis? Uh, again, it's if you can't get fired up for that, it's uh, you shouldn't be in the business. And I just again, our only question was could he play back to back games, and and I thought he looked really strong last night. And, a no-brainer for us. Uh, Brett Connolly gets that goal tonight. Obviously robbed early in the period. He didn't have any goals down in Syracuse. I mean, just how much of a monkey off his back do you think it was to be able to get that? Again, it's uh, it's an understatement. That's would not the. I think Stammer didn't Stammer score right after that, and so it kind of we kept our momentum going. And I, I know Brett was frustrated, but the fact that Stammer scored right after, I think, kind of took a lot of the pressure off him. But that was a big, uh, we talked about that on the bench, we talked about it um, uh, today when I saw him about uh, you're not here because, clearly you're not here because of your point production in the minors. Um, he's had tons of chances, he's had shots, he's played extremely well. Uh, he had a great training camp with us and you got it. You have to give him credit because he didn't go down there and hang his head. I think he thought he did everything he could to make the team and I believe he did. And uh, for him, you know, we throw him out there at the, uh, the second group on the power play because that's what he, he does. He, he's got speed, he's got skill, and he can put the puck in the net. And for him to get the game winner, I don't know what's going to happen here in the future, but uh, I don't think that's the last goal Brett Conley will score in the near future.